Hello, I'm John from Robert White Photographic and today I'd like to show you a little bit more about the latest Gitso systematic carbon fibre tripods. I have in front of me one of their three series tripods. Uh, I'm just going to unscrew the head. This is one of our prized heads which is the Arca Swiss Cube. There is a separate video on this. Um, this is the latest generation of Gitso systematic tripods. Uh, this particular one is the 3532S, so it's a three section carbon fibre systematic. Now, the systematic tripods have been around for a little while now, um, but this is just the latest improvement upon that. So, there are a few key features I'll go through and show you, but also show you the general idea of a systematic tripod. Um, firstly, uh, unlike previous generations, they have built in spiked feet very tough little rubber cap. Uh, spike feet for the Series 2, uh, so this one 3532S has it built in. Uh, older version, the previous one, 3531S does not, so it's only the latest generations that have this in place. You can't remove them, you can't lose them, and this rubber cap, if you're using it as we're doing in here, just pushes on very, very tough. Uh, the leg sections have remained unchanged. A lot of people would worry on older series tripods about opening and closing it with these leg locks. Um, they're very, very simple. Unlike tripods of old, where the sections would turn on each other, they are actually locked, so they won't rotate. So it means that you can actually get to your job. I can grab it with one hand, I can extend the tripod out very, very quickly, off I go. Very solid, nice and simple. The other thing is, you don't need to do it up massively tight, they're very very strong. Um, we have seen in the past, less so with the modern tripods, people over tightening them. You don't need to cinch them up like your life depended on. They are strong, just use them normally, not a problem. The key differences with this latest generation, they've done a complete top redesign. They've kept the materials the same, so you're looking at magnesium alloy um, and six times carbon, so six layer super super strong carbon. If you go to Gitso's website they've got a huge amount of information showing the technology that goes into it. It's, it's fantastic. By changing the top plate design they've left the tripods at pretty much the same weight but they've increased their capacity. So this particular tripod weighs about two kilos just less but it will hold 25 kilos whereas its older version the 3531S uh, stopped at about 18. So just by a redesign, they've really added that extra capacity to it. Uh, secondly, they've changed the systematic top plate. The previous ones, you had to carry a little spanner with you, undo a nut to take it out. Now, what this means is that these commonless tripods, you can fit a levelling base, a column, both rapid, uh, which, is, which is just a manual column, or a geared version. Most people are buying them from us in the standard configuration, um, because it's, it, it means you can get flat to the ground, because these legs themselves, you pull out these lovely little tabs, go flat. I think this particular tripod is about 11 centimeters from the ground, so if you're doing low level stuff, it's absolutely perfect. You also don't have a center column to get in the way. We always find that you go to great lengths to keep your equipment as steady as possible, and a center column can undo all of that in, in a moment. As soon as you raise it up a little bit, you take the camera away from this really strong centre of gravity. It also, we have found, that it can act as a bit of a vein. You know, you've got a carbon fibre stem hanging below your tripod. For long exposures, it just adds to that risk of uh, vibration, which is more and more a problem. Uh, going back to this very, very quickly, they've replaced the, uh, the, the standard nut and bolt idea with a ratchet, um, which you simply just undo. Give it a couple of turns. You'll see it's actually turning now. And in here somewhere, and it's always when it's on camera, you won't be able to see it, there's a little button here which I press, uh, which is a quick release button, and that will enable me to pull it out. Uh, they've redesigned the hook, so rather than just having a standard little wire hook, it's a proper cast hook on there. Um, you could hang a camera bag, I feel that gap's probably a little bit small, but we have had some uh, clever photographers who are shooting in windy locations who've put like a strap round here, uh, down through the tripod, through a foot to add, add a bit of stability. Um, not particularly intrusive, and it's there, it's a nice little addition. If this was a column, or a levelling base, or this itself, it just snaps straight into position, like so, 
trick glitch is holding it there, and I would just ratchet it together like so. So that's nice, simple, straightforward. This plate, add a head straight to it. So if you do buy one of these, you don't have to worry about all well, my head fit. It just screws on, 3 8 inch screw thread. Um, we do a lot of Gitzo, we do a lot, a lot of Arca Swiss heads, but anything with a fitting will work. So please visit our website. We've got lots of information, brochures, PDFs, weight capacities for each tripod. Uh, if you do find yourself a little bit lost, you can always email, email us at sales at robertwhite.co.uk. We're happy to help. Um, but thank you for viewing. Thank you. Cool.